Worst case of splayed legs I've ever seen. They are way out there. So we're going to try and wrap them up, try and keep them straight where they're supposed to be. He's gotten to the point where he can't even walk, he can't even move around because of the way his legs are. Okay, baby. little one. It's actually 4.30 in the morning. I'm about to feed this little baby. Here you go. Over here. Come in. Yes. This is our lone survivor. Ruby. Only hatched two of the four eggs in her third clutch. I was expecting to feed four babies. And she only hatched two eggs. And we lost one of those little red-eyed babies. And this little guy, I expected to lose him first. Didn't expect to lose the other one. But you just never know. This is a little rosy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's quite the survivor. He's determined to survive in spite of all the things he's faced, all the obstacles. He was splay legged. And so for a week, I'll show you what I put on him. If I can find it, where did I put that? I thought I stuck it where I could show you. I tied a little loop of yarn around his upper legs and left it on there for a week. And we kept kicking it off. I decided, well, I guess he's okay. And as you can see, he can stand up and he can walk. Yeah, come here, show everybody. So, he does pretty well. He's not splay-legged anymore. His left leg wants to push out a little bit. Let's see, we got plenty in your crop. Mm -hmm. I didn't make a whole lot because there's only one of you. Mm -hmm. We don't have to compete with anybody to get it, do we? Uh -uh. He says, I'll keep eating as long as you keep feeding me, Mom. I think you've had more than enough. Yeah. They're more active than you are this morning. I let him go for eight hours without eating. The first time I've ever let him go that long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I still have him in an incubator. Even though he's over two weeks old now, he could probably just go in a box. But, at least in the incubator, I know that he's staying good and warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, here, maybe you can see he's pink back here. Yeah. For a while, I thought, even though he has pink feet, I thought maybe he's going to be normal with all this dark on his wings. But I can see pink coming in now. Okay. 
Let's go back to your little box. I had to make a box with higher sides because the box I had, he was able to jump out of. Yeah. Let's show everybody. So there you are. In your little box I have some um, mostly pine shavings in there. Mm -hmm. Okay for now. Okay. Yeah, show everybody. You're very active. Yeah. Feeling good, are you? You can walk and he says it's time to eat, Mom. Time to eat. Yep, come here. Okay, we got your your food already. Yeah. You tell people you can stand up and Okay, here's the baby all freshly fed and I'm going to put him in his little box. He's coming out of the, going to be in a new box and not in the incubator anymore. Yeah, he's got feathers so he can have this little box. It's a small box but it'll be just fine for him. And a little close up. I can do it one handed, but I'm going to leave it open a little bit to make sure he gets plenty of oxygen in there. Yeah. And I gave him back his little blanket, his little comfort blanket. So he's fine. And now he's out of the incubator. But I do have an airy heater nearby, so he will stay nice and warm. Fine for now.